Euronaval is celebrating 50 years of naval innovations. In our day two video coverage of Euronaval 2018, we are focusing on the French naval defense industry. We have a new version of the Exocet uh, B3, they call the B3C. Uh, the main feature of this version of the Exocet Block 3 is a, a new seeker and an improved overall improved performance of the missile and a simplified maintenance. Uh, it is available for export and uh, as I said, there are some equipment has been changed on board the missile, mainly using digital connection within the missile and that explains why the maintenance is uh, better simplified with longer period uh, between two maintenance overall. That's the whole idea. The, the whole idea behind this new version was to keep the exoset in the long range in order to reach 2030 and above after 2030 to keep the missile into service in the French Navy and on the export market. The other major announcement is uh, regarding the MMP, the long combat missile already in service in the French Army, already deployed in operations. We have performed some uh, sea trials from RIB, very promising sea trials, uh, operating the MMP missile uh, both against land target and against uh, surface target, being fired from a uh, RIB. Uh, so the, we are still uh, pursuing our, uh, our studies on that field and uh, we are considering the possibility of having MMP in a turret launcher adapted for small and medium patrol boats. What we actually present here in uh, Euronaval 2018 is a very innovating target designator, right? This is a world first. Normally, all target designators have a pole, handles, and googles. This one is a sole, unique, and held. It means you can uh, get a widened field of view, right? You can have reflex action, but more than ever, this target designator, compared to the traditional ones, is able to give a target designation right to the remote weapon system and to slave remote weapon system in context of asymmetric warfare. So this is very important because the crux of this equipment is to widen the limited field of view of the remote weapon system and also to minimize sensor to shoot a time. So that, you know, the target designation doesn't come from the combat management system, but from this equipment. So when the device gives the target designation, instantaneously, the remote weapon joins the position and can proceed to engagement. We received a first contract for the French Navy on a Steel's Frigate uh, Lafayette for the modernization program. We are conducting with the French Navy experimentation on small patrol boats, because small patrol boats don't have any combat management system. And so this equipment becomes very important to give the designation to the remote weapon system on such small vessel. This year it's a very particular year for, for, for us with uh, 170 years of history from uh, fireworks at the beginning up to now for integrated systems. We work every day with a very complete team uh, on all, all the fields from uh, detection to reaction to system integration on radar as well as infrared. We celebrate uh, 10,000 ammunition produced, 30 platforms fitted with Silena and 20 additional ones in progress. Corner Reflector, um, the unique solution um, in service, providing effective uh, answer in front of uh, old or emerging threats.
this new product is the Paseo XLR. So XLR stands for Extended Long Range. So what it is basically is, is an EOIR, electro optical and infrared product, uh, that is dedicated to surveillance and identification. So it can also double as a gun uh, director for uh, naval artillery. But its main, uh, I would say, particularity is its incredible cap capability for identification using a very powerful telescope that will provide a lot of details on remote targets. Okay? So it's an ideal complement to the uh, IRST, Infrastructure Track, or to a search radar in the sense that it can offer the uh, precise identification and classification of the target. So this product has been selected on the uh, French Navy FTI, Frigate de Intermediaire Program, and it's currently in production. Uh, qualification is starting, and we're delivering the initial units next year. OCA is a French company specialized in the design, building and support of aluminium boats up to 90 meters. Uh, we focus on four main markets. One of them in the, is the maritime safety and security. We are in Atiro Naval presenting our, our range of offshore patrol vessels, offshore support vessels, fast patrol boats. Okay, for this show we have decided to uh, present our new OPV 230. It's a 72 meter uh, offshore patrol vessel and this boat is uh, introducing new features in our range to improve the versatility of the boat. We have included a mission bay in the middle of the boat here uh, where you will find the two 8.50 meter ribs but also an area, uh, a versatile area where we can install containers or uh, storage for special forces uh, uh, goods. We have also another multi-purpose area at the fore of the helideck. Also uh, designed to receive either a UAV or another 20 feet container or features for uh, commando. GICAN is a French shipyard industry association. Uh, there are about uh, 180 uh, members. Uh, and uh, we are very proud to organize uh, Euro Naval, which is the first uh, exhibition for uh, defense, uh, naval defense uh, in the world. And we are here to promote and uh, to, uh, to develop French uh, naval industries. Of course, uh, this is a, a question that uh, is made uh, in France for domestic market, but also uh, at the international scale all around the world and uh, not only in France, abroad. Innovation is a very, uh, very important uh, point uh, for GICAN. Uh, GICAN is uh, organizing uh, this year in Euronaval C Innovation uh, with uh, 34 uh, startups and uh, we are also uh, very, uh, very involved uh, in uh, education to develop uh, skills and to develop uh, the activities of, uh, of, uh, and the attractivity of uh, the sector of, uh, of our, uh, our companies. We need boilers, we need uh, uh, people uh, who are able to work in this, uh, in this sector, on the naval field, uh, to just to show that industry change and naval industry change and uh, it's uh, very important to, uh, to develop uh, those activities to preserve our contracts and to preserve our role, our key role uh, in, uh, in the, the world of uh, naval defense.